So Biomedical Engineering and Technology Incubation Center, as we call it PETIC, is a platform and a facility where doctors, engineers, surgeons, physicians, clinicians, scientists all can come in together on one platform and share their ideas to develop innovative medical devices for Indian population at an affordable cost. Uh, currently, the medical device ecosystem in the country is not very well. We are importing 75% of our medical devices. So the idea is that can we develop and generate the next generation of devices? Can we create a facility for such people to get together? Can we actually have uh, training of the next generation of innovators also all together along with this? So that's the primary focus. It's just been uh, two years we have started. We're getting people from multidisciplines, orthopedics, uh, cardiovascular, laparoscopy, uh, and then other fields as well, including dentist, uh, dentistry. Uh, so we're just building them together and trying to come up with innovative medical devices. So that's that's the aim. Uh, we've been doing it. We had some uh, short success. We had a company forming out of our own researchers and they have incubated in IT Bombay itself. We also have now one technology transfer to an Indian manufacturer. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to see if Indian manufacturing system can get leverage through a center like BTIC. They start developing devices which have been worked upon with doctors and verified, validated, uh, developed here in BTI, and they take it forward. So uh, 3D printing, I would put all the technologies like scanning, 3D printing, these really help us to reduce the time cycle for the life, life that is there for innovative product development, from defining the problem to developing the solution and delivering it back. So this life cycle is completely reduced or uh, shortened if you have tools like 3D printing and 3D scanning and CAD and imaging. If these are mixed together, they give us a leverage of coming up out with an innovative medical device pretty faster. So these innovators are from different backgrounds, biomedical engineering, mechanical, electrical, electronics. So if they have an imaginative idea of the concept that this can be done this way, that really helps them to get into CAD and immediately prototype it, test it, fail quickly and move on to the next device or the next idea or next concept. So that, that leverage is there with 3D printing. First of all, this itself is a very innovative kind of an initiative. Uh, you have a lot of conferences going on. So either they are medical conferences or engineering conferences. There is nothing truly interdisciplinary. In an engineering conference, you will not find a lot of doctors. In a doctor conference, you will not find a lot of engineers. So that kind of Walking across the domain is still a difficult part in the country right now. And platform like this, what you're getting together people from uh, the user base, that's the doctors or the clinicians, the innovators or academic people or the researchers, and the industry will actually into this. All three coming together and understanding each other's fields really helps because these ambassadors will go back and then translate this energy to other people. So I could see a very beautiful energy that was coming around people opening up, uh, talking interdisciplinary, and that is what is required for the next generation of either medical devices or whatever uh, medical sector or healthcare sector needs in this country right now. So these people talking to each other is just one prima facie thing that is happening. But I can certainly see these percolating down and they becoming the key opinion leaders or advisors or in fact just people, ambassadors who go back and talk to their own communities and ask everybody to shake hands.